Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolfer Programming. So recently I picked up a Samsung Galaxy Ultra, the one terabyte version with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I just wanted to go and show you guys some of the things that I've been using with DeX, using it as a desktop. So here in TeamUX, I've installed an XFCE desktop environment, which I thought was really cool. And you know, the performance is really good. I haven't really gotten any games to work, but Firefox works really well. Um, now you can use the built-in web browser or Brave or something like that in Android, but this one is a little bit better built as a desktop browser, you know what I mean? Also, GIMP. GIMP works really well. So here I'm gonna show you me editing a meme real quick. Uh, this is something that is normally really difficult to do in Android, at least as far as I know. Do you know any picture editing tools that work really good in Android? Let me know down in the comments below. But for me, I'm kind of old school. I like to use GIMP. I've been using it for well over a decade, probably two decades. And see, I can cut out my memes, post my memes, edit my memes right here in a traditional Linux desktop within Samsung DeX. And that just never gets old to me. So I really like that. And I wanted to show you guys that also, I found that you can do basic web development within Linux with inside of DeX. So in the daytime, I normally program in Golang. And so it's very common that you'll have to create a web app, a REST service in Go. And so here we're going to set up a little Golang web app, a little Hello World app that's just going to run a web server on port 8080. And then it's going to display hello from the fur after we compile the Golang executable into ARM64 Linux executable code and we can go ahead and run it. And so I thought that was pretty interesting. Termux doesn't have, I believe the phone does not have root access and uh, term, Termux, it basically, it's like, a, it's like a root emulation. A lot of the system calls are emulated. So it is slower, probably can't run a lot of games at full speed, a lot of things I haven't gotten to compile. I was trying to get a PS3 emulator to compile, but it was complaining about an Android uh, architecture, even though I was, um, even though I was uh, compiling it from within Linux. Somehow, I guess some of the system messages returned architecture Android instead of Linux, and so it broke the CMake packaging system. But yeah, here's a nested terminal. So I thought that was really cool that you can just run XFCE right there into Termux. And it's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty useful. You can do a lot of cool things. It's quicker, faster than using a VNC client to get into your Raspberry Pi. So obviously it's the latest and greatest um, processor. So all the Android games are going to run at full speed. I even have ray tracing turned on here in Diablo Immortal. And it just works. I mean, every game I played is going to play full screen because, you know, there's really not a whole lot of Android games in the first place. And most of them typically target either the currently, the current most powerful processor, or really just, you know, an older processor so they can sell it to as many people as possible. So. Yeah, I mean, this is Diablo Immortal running at full speed with ray tracing on, and it, run just, it runs just fine like you'd expect. Now let's take a quick look at Call of Duty Mobile. Obviously this runs on weaker devices, but it runs pretty good here, so I wanted to go ahead and let you guys take a quick look at it. And this is with like all the HD texture packs downloaded and it's everything is on max and it runs fine like you'd expect i do kind of have a hard time getting it to recognize my 360 controller not my 360 sorry my xbox one controller but it's connecting it does connect to my ps5 controller just fine and here i'm kind of awkwardly trying to use a keyboard and mouse And let's take a quick look at Minecraft. 
don't need notifications for that. But obviously this runs on a Raspberry Pi 5, so it's gonna run perfectly on the new Samsung. So that's really a quick look at the new uh, the new Samsung in Dex mode. I think we'll have a longer review later after I try to get some PC games up and running. What do you guys think? Are you interested in more videos about the new Samsung Galaxy Ultra running Linux? Let me know down in the comments below and have a good day.